morning, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan with your morning digital brief for Thursday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. The battleground blitz continues today. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will begin his day at an event in Bucks County. He'll then head to Erie. Vice President Kamala Harris will spend the day campaigning in Nevada and Arizona. Former President Donald Trump will also make stops in those states as well. His running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, will be in North Carolina for a town hall in High Point. Elon Musk has been ordered to attend a court hearing in Philadelphia later this morning. He's being sued by District Attorney Larry Krasner over his $1 million giveaway to voters. The lawsuit alleges that Musk and his super PAC are trying to influence voters in the presidential election. We'll get an update this morning on the wildfire that's burning in Evesham Township. Cell phone video shows flames burning a portion of the wooded area next to Cooper Road that's near Route uh, 73. The fire burns more than 40 acres at one point more than a dozen homes were threatened. Now let's get a check of the next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Kate Bilo. Morning, Kate. Good morning to you, Jim. Yeah, we still don't have any real appreciable rain in sight. Maybe a shower tomorrow. That could put an end to this record dry stretch, but it's not going to put an end to the drought and the high fire danger. For today, we're at 82 degrees. That is a record. If we hit it, we would tie the record from 1946. If you're taking the kids out trick-or-treating tonight, it is going to be a very warm evening. Nothing too scary about it. 76 degrees, partly cloudy at 6 o'clock, 74 still at 7 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock as hopefully things start to wind down in your neighborhood. We're at 73 degrees. A few more clouds late, but that's about it. And that means we'll finish the month dry, making it likely almost definitely the driest month in Philadelphia history. Now tomorrow things change a little bit. Clouds will increase tonight and we've got a front approaching tomorrow, but watch how it just kind of falls apart. It may bring a shower to the airport. If we get even a hundredth of an inch, it would end the dry stretch, but it's not enough to put any kind of a dent in the drought. Behind that front, we're cooler for the weekend and then we warm up again next week. We're headed for 76 by Election Day on Tuesday. Jim, back over to you. Thank you, Kate. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on cbsphiladelphia.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.